When we speak about protecting the environment and using resources efficiently while minimizing waste and pollution, we employ the popular catchphrase decoupling. Decoupling of economic growth from unsustainable use of resources and from other undesired environmental repercussions. It means to successfully detach the continuation of economic growth from damaging the environment. This requires taking seriously both production and consumption patterns, but policies and actions taken to date had focused mainly on the production side, promoting, for example, cleaner production and technologies, waste minimization, recycling, and eco-design. Unfortunately, they've had only incrementally beneficial effects. As production becomes more and more efficient, costs are decreasing, manufacturing is growing, and consumption levels are rising. This is what we call rebound effects. In the EU 27, for example, between 1990 to 2007, electricity consumption per person increased by more than 30%, and car ownership increased by 35%, and some changes are dramatically fast. We become more efficient in using resources and end up using more because of it. Actually, if current population and consumption trends continue, by the 2030s, we'll need the equivalent of two Earths to support us, but we have only one. Obviously, minimizing risks within current production patterns and lifestyles is not and cannot be enough. We must think differently and radically challenge the way in which we produce and consume. This requires alternative business models that go beyond mere technological improvements together with new patterns of sustainable consumption of goods. Now, let's talk about servicizing. We all use services to get jobs done and we use them more and more. According to the Statistical Office of the European Union, almost 70% of employed persons in the EU 27 worked in the service sector in 2011, compared with 62% in 2000. The service sector includes, among other things, wholesale and retail trade, transportation, food services, communication, and health. We now live in a service economy an economy that more than half of its total labor force is employed by the service sector. The potential link between a service economy and sustainable development was proposed by Walter Stahel. According to Stahel, traditional industrial economy places the central value on the exchange of the products being consumed. On the other hand, service-oriented economy recognizes the value of utilization where the consumer pays for using the product. This is in fact a function-based economy in which the product is a mere means of providing function. In a function-based economy, consumption is not based on accumulating goods and self-owning them, but the focus is rather on buying the services provided by the goods. Instead of traditional purchasing, we are now buying services. This is what we call servicizing. Servicizing enables a broader range of arrangements, including leasing, sharing, and taking back. For example, paying for printings instead of buying your own printer. So, why servicizing? Servicizing provides the consumers with the economic incentive to use products in a more efficient way. We pay for the printing service according to the number of printings instead of paying for the printer itself. This reduces the need for new products while increasing the demand for high quality products that are durable enough to cope with far greater use by many rather than one consumer. On the other hand, suppliers are making all efforts in order to increase the durability of their printers, which they now continue to own. This requires redesigning of products and new business models. The extension of the period over which products and goods are used optimizes the total lifespan of goods and promotes a more resource efficient economy. And there's even more to it. Servicizing also enhances the supplier's responsibility for the quality of the product. Servicizing, therefore, influences both production and consumption patterns. Currently, there are relatively few examples that have been proven to be successful when moving to servicizing on a large scale. Businesses that sell printing services instead of copy machines and toners, or companies supplying chemical management services instead of selling chemicals by the volume. Why is that? How come servicizing does not proliferate? Well. There are several possible reasons. First, the new business transaction between producers and consumers is more complex than regular purchasing and requires long-term engagement. Also, moving to servicizing involves uncertainty concerning the costs and benefits for the producers. 
In addition, on the side of the consumers, normative setting plays a prominent role in designing our lifestyles. For example, we desire to purchase more and more products due to the high social status affiliated with owning them. It has been shown that values behind unsustainable consumption were justified in the course of economic development and are deeply rooted in society. What is clear, though, is that the conditions have changed and there is now an urgent need to develop alternative business models and visions of lifestyles that do not put so much pressure on the environment. Servicizing can face this challenge and effective policies are required in order to facilitate its large-scale implementation. So who are we? We are leading the SPRI project. SPRI is a three-year project under the European Commission's seventh framework program. Our goal is to identify policies for the establishment of servicizing systems. These policies are formulated as servicizing policy packages and we will simulate their potential effect within three sectors, water, mobility, and agri-food. Spree International Consortium consists of 10 partners from seven different European member states and associated countries. The Research Council of Lithuania, the Finnish Environment Institute, Lund University, Oxford University, Sari University, Delft University of Technology, University of Santiago de Compostela, the Jerusalem Institute for Israel Studies, Tel Aviv University, and Ben Gurion University. Thank you for taking the time to learn about servicizing, and if you wish to learn a bit more, you're welcome to visit us at www.spreeproject.com.